Sydney Harbour Foreshore Authority acquired the ballast point from Caltex in 2002 with a vision to protect and enhance the natural and cultural heritage of the foreshore area. Since its completion in 2009, it has been awarded numerous international architectural awards, successfully transforming the industrial site into a world-class parkland. Formerly an industrial site for Caltex, the land was restored to provide walking paths, access for cyclists and green picnic spots with panoramic views to the city and Harbour Bridge. The Sydney Harbour Foreshore Authority's continual drive for economical development saw partnerships with a collective of local design and construction agencies. Park designer Philip Coxall, director of McGregor Coxall, comments. We wanted to achieve a balance between the old and new, with each part providing a layer of the story. Ballast Point also sets a new benchmark for sustainable park design. The park uses the wetland area to filter the site's stormwater before it enters the harbour. It also makes use of recycled materials in constructing the walls, decks and park seating. Trees, shrubs and grasses are also native to the area and grown from locally sourced seeds. At 2.5 hectares, the park brings together the historic layers of the site. Formerly an oil storage facility, it acted as a ballast quarry for visiting ships. The location is one of Sydney's earliest harbourside villas and a place of significance to Sydney's traditional landowners. In recognition of the traditional landowners and Aboriginal history, the park was given a second name, Walama, which means to return and highlights the area's transformation from industrial use back to nature. Today, Ballast Point Park is being enjoyed by visiting and local families and has become a great asset to Sydney's foreshore.